Take five. Good evening. In this video, which has been postponed, sorry about that, I'll be talking about some American weapons of the World War II era. You know, drill, small to largest, let's get into it. Firearms, or perhaps I should say pistols sound more American. Anyway, the most famous pistol used by the United States Army and the Marine Corps during World War II was the Browning M1911. It was obviously produced first in 1911 by John Browning. It fired the 45 ACP round from an 8 round internal magazine. Over 2.7 million units were produced from 1911 to today. Well, they are not not in use today. The most army branches of the US Army uh, adopted Beretta 92 as a standard uh, sidearm, but they are still in use uh, by other countries and some other branches. Anyway, some were even sold to the Imperial Russian Army during the second during the First World War, then captured and used by the Red Army. Submachine gun, gun. The United States Army and Marine Corps used the Sunday Thompson M1928, which was then replaced by the more convenient uh, Thompson M1A1, uh, adopted in 1941 when the United States joined the war. Uh, the M1 variant uh, had a barrel that cooling fins, uh, cooling fins, a simpler rear sight, and could not be loaded with drum magazines, which proved uh, the, those drum magazines were quite inconvenient for the British and uh, British and Russian soldiers who uh, were used these from lend lease. It could fire at 700 rounds per minute, which made them quite popular because the stopping power of the 45 ACP cartridge at 700 rounds per minute, you know, quite convenient. They were used by scouts, NCOs, which stand for non-commissioned officers, which are corporal sergeants and higher, and patrol leaders, as well as commissioned officers, uh, tank crewmen, and other specialized uh, groups, such as paratroopers and command British and Canadian commandos. The United States did not have commando units. I think I've said enough everything important about uh, Thompson. Rifles. The standard, then the most famous, United States rifle, used during the Second World War, uh, was the M1936 M1 Garand, named after the Canadian-American creator John Garand. General George S. Patton called it the greatest battle implement ever devised. So it must have been good, right? But it fired a standard American 30 6 round, like his predecessor, the M1903 rifle. Although the name is frequently pronounced Garand, with accent on the second A, the preferred pronunciation is Garand, with an accent on the first A. That's how uh, does the name of the creator, John Garand. It was used extensively in both the European theatre and the Pacific theatre uh, in the Korean War and at the start of the Vietnam War, but it was sadly replaced by the Select Fire M14, which ironically proved less popular with troops because of their reliability problems. They were relatively expensive to produce, coming in at $85 to produce or uh, $1,260 in today's money. And that's fine though because the United States enemy, uh, economy could handle it. And handle it, it did. 5.4 million were produced from 1934 to 1957. It was loading as an 8-round unblock mechan clips, which would feed into an internal magazine which could be removed to be able to clean the barrel. Makes sense. Uh, it could fire 15 rounds per minute, and they are still in use by National Guard. Hmm. Oh, for machine guns. The United States Army and Marine Corps used all three types of machine guns. What? But maybe I should talk about uh, the different types of machine guns. The three big ones, uh, I already talked about some machine guns in the video about German weapons, but the three big ones are the light machine gun, the medium machine gun, and the heavy machine gun. The light machine gun fires rifle rounds at 500 to 650 rounds per minute, some went lower, some went higher, but this is the standard, uh, standard range of uh, rounds per minute rate fire. Here you find weapons such as the Bren and the M1918 M2 uh, BAR. And got a magic rifle. The medium machine gun also fires rifle rounds, but it's used to suppress enemies. The MG42 is a famous example, but uh, you could also consider the MG34. The heavy machine gun fi uh, fires larger rounds, usually 50 caliber, at a slower rate of fire. Now, the, uh, the, B, the previously mentioned Browning automatic rifle M1918A2 <laughs> fired the 30 odd six rounds at 500 to 650 rounds per minute. As for the medium machine gun, they had the M1919 Browning. It fired the 30 odd six round at 600 rounds per minute. 438,000 were produced from 1919 to 1945. Well, this is where the script ends, but I forgot, apparently forgot to write in the Browning M2AB. 
which was a 50 caliber machine gun, still used today. Uh, usually put on vehicles such as tanks as a top turret, but uh, it, di it did saw and still sees limited use by infantry. All right, that should wrap it up. Uh, well, there are more weapons, even, even when I added the M2 Browning heavy machine gun, but uh, these are the most important ones. Well, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, I will continue the series. I will be doing Russian weapons and uh, weapons of the smaller, um, smaller nations, such as Italy. No, Italy separate. Uh, Italy separately. Uh, but now this should be about it. No more spoilers. All right. Cheers.